Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I will discuss how to find out the area of a shaded region. Here in this video, I will discuss three different diagrams. Diagram 1, here we have connected the centers of three circles to form a triangle. In diagram 2, we connected the centers of four circles to form a square and in diagram 3 we have connected any two points of a circle on the circumference with the center to form a sector so we will find out the area of a sector in diagram number 3 so let us start in diagram 1 we have connected the centers of three circles to form an equilateral triangle and we all know that all the angles of an equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degree that means this angle is 60 degree this angle is 60 degree this angle is also 60 degree okay now if you add these three angles 60 plus 60 plus 60 then it becomes 180 degree 180 degree okay that means if we add these three angles it will make one semicircle which is 180 degree at the center okay here we need to find out the area of this shaded portion okay now if we first find the area of this triangle and then find the area of these three sectors this one this one and that one and if we subtract the area of these three sectors from the area of this triangle we will definitely find out the area of this shaded portion here we already find out that these three sectors combine together to form one semicircle okay so if we subtract this semicircle from the area of this triangle we will definitely find out the area of this shaded portion so let us take the radius of these circles br assuming that all the circles are equal in diameter so the length of these sides is equal to 2r r plus r 2r so length of a side of this triangle equal to 2r as the triangle is an equilateral triangle so area of this equilateral triangle will be root 3 by 4 into side square that means root 3 by 4 into r square and the area of this semicircle is pi r square by 2 why is it so because the area of a circle is pi r square and divided by 2 so it becomes the area of this semicircle now we will subtract so our required area of the shaded portion equal to this minus this so root 3 by 4 into side square minus pi r square by 2 okay so it becomes take r square by 2 as common so we are left with root 3 by 2 minus pi and by simplifying it becomes r square by 4 into root 3 minus 2 pi which is the required formula understood now in diagram 2 let us find out the formula of finding the area of this shaded portion here you look here we have joined the four centers of four circles to form a square here this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this and this also 90 degree here how to find out the area of this shaded portion 
first we will find out the area of this square then we will subtract the area of these four sectors. Now as the angles are 90 degree so by adding these four sectors it will be 90 plus 90 plus 90 that means 360 degree. So, 360 degree means itself it is a circle. So, by adding these four sectors we can make a circle. Okay. So, if you subtract the area of this circle from the area of this square we will definitely find out the area of this shaded portion. Okay. Let us take the radius of these circles B R assuming that all the circles have equal diameter. Okay. So, what will be the length of each side of the square? It will be 2 r length of a side of a square equal to 2 r. So, area will be side square area of a square is side square. So, side square means 2 r square it will be 4 r square and the area of the circle is pi r square. So, by subtracting pi r square from 4 r square we can easily find out the area of this shaded portion. So, area of the shaded portion equal to 4 r square minus pi r square. Now, taking r square as common 4 minus pi this is our required formula. I hope you understand. Now, in diagram 3 let us find out the area of any sector of a circle. Suppose A and B be two points on the circumference of a circle. So, by adding A O where O is the center of the circle and B O, A O B is our required sector and we need to find out the area of this sector. So, what will be the formula? and how to find out let us understand first you say what is the total angle of a circle the total angle of a circle is 360 degree so the total angle of a circle is 360 degree and 360 degree is equal to pi r square why is it so because 360 degree makes is complete circle and the area of a circle is pi r square. So, 360 degree equal to pi r square. So, 1 degree means how much pi r square by 360 degree by unitary method. Suppose the angle subtended by this r a b at the center b theta. We do not know what is the value of theta, it may be 30 degree, it may be 60 degree. Okay. So, let us take the angle b theta. So, for theta it will be pi r square into theta by 360 degree. So, whatever be the angle it is 30 degree, 40 degree, 60 degree, 75 degree whatever be the angle our formula is pi r square into theta by 360 degree and by using this formula we can easily find out the area of any sector of a circle. So, friends I hope you understand these three diagrams and how to find out the area of a shaded portion. For more such videos please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.